boutique there selling knickknacks went bankrupt in about six months. Anyway, she fell in love with this man she met while hitchhiking, and I guess he loved her too, I don't really know, but he used to make fun of her missing foot all the time. She shot him. She was so sensitive about that missing foot. <laughs> turns out, turns out that he was married, his wife found her and beat the hell out of her. Then they got to talking and got to be real close friends and enjoy doing things together every Saturday. And one of their favorite things they enjoy doing on Saturdays was to go swimming over in Caldwin's Pond in Hazelfield Park. It's, it's in Guam, and they were swimming. <laughs> they were swimming one Saturday, Trudy and Yolanda, that was them. And it was real choppy, real windy, a storm was brewing, and Trudy called out, Better go, storms are brewing! And Yolanda said, Yeah! So they got out and started walking, and a pack of wild wolves attacked Aunt Yolanda and killed her. So that gum disease is nothing to mess around with. <laughs> You gotta stay in shape. That's, that's important. Physically and mentally, I think that's important to keep your mind active. I'm uh, reading a lot of good books. Right now I'm reading a really good book, uh, Hints from Heloise, and, uh, which is, that's great. Did anybody have the book? Good book, good book. I don't know if the movie is gonna be as good, but the book is good. And uh, more, it, she's got like um, tips for you, tips like how to get gum out of your hair. <laughs> to me, if you're this stupid, <laughs> you don't deserve a clue as to how to get it out, you know? <laughs> you're, you're a moron. I mean, how does this happen? You're chewing your gum. Oh! <laughs> oh can you believe it? <laughs> it's in there. Oh, help me. Yeah. It doesn't happen. Some of her tips are helpful. This is true, as a matter of fact. If you have an Angora sweater and you want to wear it out that night to a party or something, you take the Angora sweater, put it in a plastic bag, put it in the freezer for an hour, won't shed the rest of the night. And that's true. But then I started thinking, well, my cat sheds an awful lot. You know, um, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, you know, I, I'm always kidding. I'm a comedian. But... Uh, <laughs> I enjoy being a comedian, too, I really do, because uh, after the show, people come up to me at, and talk to me and ask me questions, and they always say, Ellen, first of all, you're incredible, but second of all, <laughs> second of all, is your life as a performer, is it that much different than ours, the little people, the nobodies, the scum? And I'll tell you... <laughs> I don't think it is. I think we all do the same things. For instance, when you were a kid, how many of you had a dollhouse when you were a kid? Dollhouse? Me too, me too. You ever catch the minnows out of the pond with a little Dixie cup and walk around with the minnows in the cup? Me too, me too. Do you ever take the minnows and mount them to the walls of your den in your dollhouse? Me too, me too. Yeah. Pretend like Barbie and Ken Carter on a fishing expedition. You take pictures. Me too. Yeah. You do this? This is fun to do. You go outside and you capture little lizards. Just capture them. And then once you have them, you glue little tiny toupees to their heads. <laughs> and you set them free and their family and friends don't recognize them. <laughs> it's me, Bob. It's a toupee, let me in. <laughs> me too. <laughs> do you do this? You do this, everybody does this. When you're at home alone, you put on an album, one that you know all the words to. You take a hairbrush or a deodorant can or something. You stand in front of the mirror. You pretend like you're a rock star. And when the album's over, you pretend like the concert's over and people are screaming and cheering for more. You say, thank you very much. Good night. And then you run out of the living room, down the hall, into the bedroom. You pretend like that's a dressing room. You get there and you have a wine and cheese and fruit tray and champagne all sitting out. And you're smoking and you're drinking and you're eating and you pretend like you're getting interviewed by the Rolling Stone magazine. Just completely trash your room, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Me too. Thanks a lot.